Hi guys, this is Cinema is the Language. Today we are reviewing Shakuntala Devi. Did you hate the long hours of math classes you had to sit through? Did you wonder why you have to put up with all the numbers puzzling your brain? Well, this movie is about someone whose life was all about numbers, adding them, subtracting them, multiplying them, and the, the list goes on. The movie is based on. on the life and achievements of Shakuntala Devi, who was known to the world as a human computer. She was born on 4th November 1929 in Bangalore and showed exceptional computing skills without a formal education. She later went on to show her skill to the whole world and holds a Guinness World Record for computing the multiplication of two 13 digit numbers. She was also an astrologer, a politician and one of the very few writers writing for gay rights in India. The story of such a person can be extremely difficult to show in a movie format but the director Anu Menon decided to tell it in a very light-hearted manner which involves comic dialogues and a jovial portrayal of Shakuntala Devi. Written by Anu Menon, Nayanika Mahatani and Ishika Moitro, the movie covers the entire lifespan of Shakuntala Devi, right from her childhood focusing on her various achievements. It portrays Shakuntala as a freedom-loving girl with exceptional mathematical abilities. Right from her childhood, she rejected all the patriarchal belief systems which shapes a woman to a particular mold. She rejects her elder sister's assumption that she would become a bara admi one day, saying that she can very well be an accomplished woman. Shakuntala carries this trait of her personality throughout her life and never depends on a man. She goes to England to showcase her outwardly computing skills and eventually gets the fame and money she deserves. But while she becomes successful, her personal relations suffer a great deal. She goes through a divorce and also her relationship with the daughter she loves so much gets to a point where her daughter files a police complaint against her. While our journey with this remarkable woman is quite fun, there are a few problems with the storytelling. It seems Bollywood still haven't got a good grip on how to make a biopic. And in this film also the story is depicted in a lightly dramatic form. It lacks the matter of fact tone to show a real life character on screen. The dialogues often seem too cheesy. The mother daughter relationship which is the main focus of the story, also fails to connect the audience with the tension they were supposed to have. Maybe the movie falters in its attempt to capture the whole of Shakuntala Devi's life. The mere fact that she was the first to write about homosexuality in India can be the subject of a movie. Same is true for her full denial to accept anything that she as a woman was told to do. Instead, the movie tried to show everything which spans over decades and continents. The result is a thoroughly disconnected screenplay. Often after a very emotional scene, the situation is balanced with the Shakuntala Devi cracking a lighthearted joke. It shows all her achievements as a human calculator which seemed repetitive and a bit unnecessary for the growth of the plot. And between all this, we fail to see the inner working of the mind of this exceptional woman. We never could see how the guilt of not talking to her mother affects her on a personal level. Her heart breaks. Her divorce with her husband are only there in the movie as events. She is a character full of contradictions. She is a humanitarian yet self-obsessed, a woman who champions freedom and yet curves the freedom of her own daughter, a rationalist yet whimsical. A thorough psychological exploration could have been done on such a character, but the movie chose a rather simplistic way. But the movie is saved through the outstanding performances of all the actors. Vidya Balan as Sakuntala Devi is phenomenal. She embodies this walking contradiction of a woman within her. The audience is made to laugh with her and feel energetic. Sanya Malhotra as the daughter is also very good. The movie is told from the perspective of the daughter and we can feel the tension going on between them only because of the good performances. Jishu Gupto has been given a very small screen time, but within that, he does justice to this character. Overall, this is a good film and one of those feel-good movies. You should watch this movie because of the genius Shakuntala Devi verse and for the good performances by the actors.